Hi, it's Trent Dalrymple with Metro Mortgage Investments. And before we go out to the property, I want to go over the numbers. So we bought this house for $75,000, an itty bitty little house, about 500 square feet. We've already torn it down, and we are going to rebuild a new house for $170,000, which is about five times the size of the original, which gives us a total into the project of $245,000. But when it's done, we should have a value of about $408,000, leaving us with a profit of $163,000. So if you'd like to be notified of any future videos, please subscribe to our channel. Well, I'm on my way to the house to watch them dig the basement. I'd like to answer a question that I've had that has come up from episode number two, the teardown. And you question, why did we leave up the last two walls if it was a total teardown? Well, we didn't tear the whole thing down because two reasons. One of them is we still have a gas line that's running to that house and we have to have some place to have it situated so we can't tear down the wall. The other reason is the permit process is a lot quicker if you leave up a couple of walls because that's considered a remodel and it's also less expensive. So if and when we do tear down those two walls, then of course we'll take care of that through the city and pay the extra fee. So those are the answers to your questions, and uh, we're almost at the house right now to watch them dig the basement. Well, as you can see, they've taken out all of the debris, taken down most of the back wall, but of course they've had to leave that side wall where the gas line's hooked up, and they've exposed a, a partial basement, but there's just an awful lot of sand in it. So the excavator's uh, going to be here in just a minute. They're staking out the lines for the new foundation on the new basement. And they'll be digging out the basement here in just a couple minutes.
while I'm sitting here waiting for them to finish up, uh, you'll notice it's getting a little bit colder and the colder it gets, the longer it takes for the concrete to cure. And when it gets to a point where it's freezing outside, you can't pour concrete at all. So they're kind of in a rush to get this thing done. Uh, little tip, get to know your neighbors and become friendly with them because in this case, you'll notice that all of that dirt was piled on the next door neighbor's property. So the builder went over, spoke with the neighbor, became friendly with them, and they said, go ahead, you can pour the dirt on there. And they worked out an arrangement, they could pour the dirt on their property. So that worked out really well. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next episode on our rebuild. Take care. Bye-bye.